530, state and local leaders gathered at ODU this afternoon to discuss drones. Yeah, those are the unmanned aircraft you've heard about flying over Afghanistan for military use. But there's an economic potential there for some commercial use. And Ten on Your Side's Ava Hurdle is here to explain on that. Well, that's right, Stephanie and Anita. Virginia is one of six states selected by the FAA to develop test sites for drones. That site is at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, but leaders say Hampton Roads could play a major role. With the proper training, Dr. John Langford says anyone can fly this. He shows us a drone developed at his Northern Virginia company, Aurora Flight Sciences. It's a small unmanned aircraft. It has a series of computers in it, so it can receive signals from the Global Positioning Satellite Network, just like in your, in your smartphone, actually, and it can essentially fly itself. Senator Mark Warner called together local and state leaders for a roundtable discussion. He told us earlier needs more assurance and education about this new technology. One, in terms of the safety of these systems, and two, to make sure I think when most folks hear the term drones, they think of something that flies in Afghanistan or Pakistan, and they think of the military use. They don't think about the tremendous number of commercial applications. State Senator Frank Wagner echoed those sentiments. This is now, you know, a, a, a growing huge potential industry and we just want to put the infrastructure in place here in Virginia and then get out of the way and let businessmen do what they do best. The state's technology secretary Karen Jackson said Virginia has already made a million dollar investment into this economic opportunity. Now we're told more follow-up meetings are expected as the technology continues to evolve. I'm Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. Thank you Ava. It still could take many years before all the regulations are in place for commercial drugs.